This text is EVP captions from EVPs I hear later while editing. If you want to hear them, I suggest listening with headphones. I think I can go walk around in here. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. If there are any spirits here. Well, there are spirits everywhere. There are spirits everywhere. There are spirits everywhere. There are spirits everywhere. I should talk to you guys about the difference between doing paranormal stuff at night and doing it during the day. You know, we're kind of taught to do this stuff at night. Like, all of our paranormal stuff is all at night. And it's just because it's creepy. Spirits are around all the time. The witching hour? I'm not sure. It sure feels extra creepy at 3 o'clock in the morning. But... I don't know if it actually means anything. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, actually, I know it is. Yeah, 3 a.m. is a real thing. It's kind of where your, uh, I guess, left and left and right brain sync up or something. I am totally not tuning in right now. <laughs> I need to, I need to focus on that. I think I'm just trying to, like, 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 not, um, not step where I'm not supposed to step or whatever. Yeah, I think I can focus better <laughs> during the day. Um, I love being in um, creepy places at night. Like, I like being in the dark and sitting and listening because I do feel like our senses are heightened. Walking around in the, in the cemetery, it's just kind of more difficult. I think I can do this better during the day. I am feeling a pressure on my head that is probably spirit related. But yeah, trying to tune in and do this, it's just, this is like, just not happening. And it's not because I'm freaked out. As soon as I say that, I get freaked out. No, I mean, it's not, a, not, not that I'm freaked out or anything. It's just, uh, I can't split my attention quite that way. I think there are people's houses right there. Right up against this. Right up against this. Right up against this. Right up against this. Is there anybody here? We could walk around. Just look. That's all doable. But the filming thing, yeah, it is so, so difficult to uh, walk around and do this. All right, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's really pretty though.
yeah, so uh, it's like six in the morning. Um, I was here last night walking around and really the thing is you can't see. That's the, uh, that's the difference between day and night. There's still the spirits. It's less spooky though. I mean, granted, it's less spooky. It looks bigger at night. I feel like I've got somebody here that reminds me of uh, Sam Elliott, the actor, when he is being, when he's, when he's doing his, uh, Western rolls. Fairly tall, wiry cowboy guy. How old are these graves? And how new are these graves? These look new. These look like uh, new, new graves. You know what I was getting last night? I was getting a lot of children. And I think this is the children graveyard. If you look at the size, size of the graves. And I think that might have something to do with the clown hotel, the clown motif. Died 1907. And I'm hit with a lot of grief right now. And that usually doesn't happen. That's usually not. And I have the chills. Oh, this is a lot of, a lot of children here. Is there anything that needs to be done? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually having a uh, response, my, like an emotional response, like an emotional response, like an emotional response, like an emotional response, but it's, it's not very surface, if that makes sense. Like I'm crying a little bit. Okay, back up to the adults. We've got some rich people here because they've got the big, the larger monument. Took money to make. Yeah, the kids, the kids, that area, that's hitting me um, a bit, a bit stronger than I'm used to. During the day, I think I'm able to, I'm able to put more of my focus into picking up, picking up, picking up, 
picking up on spirits instead of just trying to watch where I walk or navigate. When it's dark, a lot of senses are heightened because you have to pay attention. I feel like I'm hearing women's voices. Yeah, the children's graveyard. That's where I went immediately. While I was trying to go to bed, I was hearing a lot of children. So when you come to the clown motel, you'll have to come over and check out the graveyard. And say hello to some of these, some of these guys. With losing children, that's something that lasts the mother's whole life. And each of these children they impacted a lot of people. I'm hearing somebody who's like, I don't want to talk about that. Like, we don't want to, we don't want to go there. We don't want to talk about that. What would you like to talk about? Somebody said my hair, and then I started feeling something on my beard. Do you like that? Kids always like my beard. Is anybody stuck here? I feel like somebody's, somebody higher up is saying nobody's stuck here. Nobody has to be stuck here. So where are they visiting from? Somebody said Summerland. Is Summerland the same thing as heaven? I feel like I'm not supposed to know. We aren't supposed to talk about that. Um, it, it, I was seeing spirits or somebody over there, like uh, two adults looking at each other like, oh, I'm not sure we're supposed to speak about that. All right, well, thank you for showing me around. And thank you.